Hi guys, today I'm here with the incredibly talented Mr. Will Arnett and we're going to be talking about his brand new film, The Lego Batman Movie. Will, tell me, when did you first realize that you could do the famous gravelly Batman voice? Not until I was actually in the booth, I think, recording the, the first Lego movie. I think I knew that I could do a kind of a, a version of that, working with the director and trying to figure out what the voice of Lego Batman was going to be. We kind of landed on, on, on that version and that kind of made us laugh. Quite a distinctive voice. Do you use it in your day-to-day -day life? Like, do you prank call your friends and family and use it to order in restaurants to mess with people? I've used it to order food before and I sometimes use it to, uh, to get my kids to put their iPads down. <laughs> kind of a scary, scary yeah, bad dad. It's better, it's much more effective than, than yelling. I can imagine. Yeah. Would you be able to show me your five favorite impressions of, say, other actors or other characters that you've heard? There's so many people who do great impressions and I I feel like anytime I do impressions, it just feels like a really bad version of them. I was like, oh God. Or I have to describe who I'm doing. Everybody does Christopher Walken or Donald Trump. You know, everybody's like, yeah, yeah I could do Donald Trump. And I, you know, but that just, sounds good to me. Unless it's broadcast quality, it's not. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Batman's quite a dark character, especially for what is essentially a children's film. Mm. Did you take inspiration from Christian Bale or Ben Affleck? Was it quite difficult trying to make it more lighthearted and funny rather than a darker character? We had the benefit of, of all these Batman that had come before and going back and looking at everything they'd done. And so many of them were so great, starting mm -hmm. with Michael Keaton. And of course, Adam West in the film, the first one was, was Michael Keaton. Um, and then Val Kilmer and, and, and uh, George Clooney. Mm -hmm. Christian Bale, now Ben Affleck. We had the, the luxury of looking back at all those and kind of taking the moments that made us laugh. Batman is such an iconic character and we know so much about him. We know he is Bruce Wayne, that he's yeah. living this dual life. We know that he, the Batcave is under the Wayne Manor. Mm -hmm. um, and then he's got this butler, uh, Alfred, and you know that he's an orphan. We can kind of take all that information and repurpose exactly what it all means, which is super fun. What is it like voicing one of the world's favorite superheroes? It must feel like you've got quite a lot on your shoulders, I imagine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't really look at it that way. It, it's just much more, for me, it's really fun. Of course, yeah, he's a, one of the most iconic uh, characters of all time. It's really fun to be able to play him, and I, and I do take that part of it seriously that I, I don't want to let down Batman fans. There are certain things that I want to uphold, his his brooding nature, his ability to kind of kick butt, but at the same time, to add an element of humor and also to add an element of heart. I think that comes with it and, and uh, I'm really happy that we inserted more of that into this film. There were definitely some moments where I felt close to tears, which I wasn't expecting. Yeah. But it was great. Doing voiceover work is quite difficult because you're in a booth, obviously, and not actually in the situation. For you, throughout the film, what was the most difficult emotion or scene that you had to do? There's a scene, a scene at the end of the film, and I don't want to give too much away, but it's a, it's a pretty great moment between Batman and a couple of characters to get through it in a way to make it relatable, to make it something that people could identify with. And so we worked on it a lot and I ended up getting it to a place that I felt like, you know, and in, in kind of voicing it in a way that, in, in saying words that, that I felt would really tell that story at that particular yeah. time and, and be just really kind of as honest and kind of strangely human in that moment. Well, I think you did that very well. Oh, um, thanks. I love the film. I can't wait for everyone to see it. Please make sure that you go and see it when it comes out in theatres. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's lovely to talk to you. Cheers, you Thank too. You. The Batmobile. Let's go. Hello, secret camera. We built this city. What? It's the Bat Cave. Look, it's the Bat Sub. Don't touch that. The Bat Zeppelin. Don't touch that either. It's the Bat Kayak. No. Do I get a costume? I love it, but his pants are just a little tight. I got an idea. Rip! It's better. Let's go defeat the Joker. Woo! We're going on a family trip. I can wear my costume too. Well, luckily for us, you left your costume back. Rip! Oh, nope, under your clothes. That's perfect. Ooh.